Rain gauges were reset to zero on October 1st, generally considered the start of the rainy season here in California. You probably remember our last rain season was one for the record books with amazing snow and rain. Meteorologist Sean Stiles takes a look back at the weather of the seasons past. As we reset the rain gauge literally on October 1st, we saw a little bit of light rain, but what was the rainy season like before? I think most would agree it was rather impressive. I talked with the National Weather Service for a recap. Fall brings transition in Southern California. So when we got into October of last year, 2022, it was dry uh, most of the month. Alex Tardy is a meteorologist with the National Weather Service and says by November, change had arrived. Our first storm came in election day. And the reason why that one's easy to remember is because everyone was out voting. The storm brought widespread heavy rain, but the track stayed north of us and pounded northern and central California. That changed mid-December with an atmospheric river. But then storms started coming in a week at first around Christmas. Then come New Year's Eve, that's when it came in with a bang. And that's when atmospheric river became part of our vocabulary. Uh, the hose didn't shut off until mid-January when we saw our most significant storm in San Diego, January 15th and 16th. That's when we had uh, major flooding on the San Diego River. Then a drier pattern and some thought that was it. All of a sudden we got into mid-February, the projections changed. Holy moly and some really big cold storms came late February, early March. The atmospheric river returned, but this time with cold air. Uh, that's when Big Bear had their uh, record-breaking snowfall. Some locations received 100 inches of snow. And if that wasn't enough, uh, the storms wouldn't let up in March. So mid-March, we had another series of storms and, and atmospheric rivers that came in on top of saturated grounds. Over the winter, San Diego saw 13 atmospheric rivers, but by spring, we were drying out. And May was really a cool month, below average. That carried over into June. Then the July fry arrived with temperatures in the desert 118 degrees and inland valleys topping 100 degrees. Then August brought more kooky weather where we saw tropical cyclone Hillary delivered unprecedented amount of rainfall, uh, giving us huge numbers for the month of August. The season rain totals were amazing. Oceanside, 23.47, 13.2 above. Escondido, 29.77, 15 and a quarter above. Downtown San Diego, 15.72, 5.96 inches above average in Palomar Mountain. Get this, 69.26 inches, 38.85 inches above. So as we head into this new rainy season and uh, El Nino approaching, we'll have to keep our eyes to the horizon as storms are knocking on the door. Meteorologist Sean Stiles, CBS 8.